Hello all, welcome to Cloud Learner channel once again. So in the last video we had uh, discussed about uh, how to create files using some basic uh, Linux command like cat, nano, touch, vi. Okay. So uh, after that video I got so many messages that uh, I have taught you um, how to access this our Linux machine using putty gen put or putty or the mobile extrem. So is there any way to um, access Linux machine using this our Windows command prompt so yes there's a way but uh, you need to make sure few things that uh, first of all in your machine or in your laptop few things are installed so I'm going to this app and feature part okay so in the app and feature part if you can see optional features over here so click on that optional features and search for the installed features search in the installed features as such such client okay if it is installed you are good to go with your command prompt if it is not installed then you need to go to the add a feature and here you need to type ssh once again so here i am getting only open ssh server because i have already installed ssh client in my machine or laptop so here you will get and you have to install it once you will install, install it just restart your laptop or desktop where in which you are working right now and you can use your command prompt after that before that uh, you also need to configure your machine or laptop to uh, to use for the uh, aws command line interface so for this purpose let me tell you what you need to do you just need to search aws cli download okay after that you need to go to the install aws cli once you will go here just go to the install portion and as per your machine that you are using operating system i must say okay just download the aws cli msi installer and install it in your machine after once it will get installed just open your command prompt okay and type here aws configure so first of all it will ask you your access key id so from where you can uh, get your access key id see it is not advisable to always you use uh, or log in as a root user in a aws console okay we need to create some iam user uh, and give them the access for particular services so that we they can uh, use our aws console for their requirement okay so you need to go to the IEM over here once you will go to the IEM okay you need to go to the users I'm going directly to the users part right now uh, or you can uh, see that user part in the left hand side to see like this okay so you when you will add users you will get it I have already users are there so I'm going to click on the user RS and after that what you need to do you need to go for the security credential this security credential you will get when, when you will when you are going to add user okay so here you will get your access key id and secret access key okay so see access key id is this and qbn4 is my last four alphabets so if you see here it is already there so one first time when you will configure your aws for the same so you will get only aws access key id you need to enter your access key id after that it will ask you for the access key so when you will get this access key id simultaneously you will get your secret access key too that you need to download and open it by using your excel okay after that it will ask you for the region so where you will get region name see iam is a global service so it is written global here but if you want to see your region so in which region you are i am in the mumbai region right now so for me mumbai belongs to the region ap south one okay asia pacific south one clear so here it is ap south one right so you need to enter it first time and output format just leave it as, as it is you are good to go with your aws cli now talking about how to use this uh, command prompt for accessing your linux machine so see let's 
write one command ssh ec2 user at the rate ip of the machine okay this is the ip i'm going to copy it ip of the machine see what happens it is saying permission denied public key access key and so on means we have not given access key if you remember when I, either you are we are using putty gen putty or mobile xtem we always give public key pem ppk right so we didn't pass this time this key so how we can access our machine no we can't right so for this purpose what we need to do is first we need to access our key and after that we will be able to log in so my key is in the download folder right so first of all i need to change the directory downloads okay now i need to give the same command ssh ec2 user at the this one and after that i and access key name qw.pm that that is my access key name and after that you need to just press enter once you will press enter you will be inside your linux machine see 172.31.34.38 this is my private ip address of the machine that i am getting it okay so i am inside my machine now once again sudo su to get the root user now if you want to create some file that suppose you need to create uh, uh, one file like uh, by using cat command let's suppose okay so what you need to do cat file just name it file okay will it work no it won't work why so because we are creating the file so cat file okay now hi i am file we have got two of this thing control c we are out of the cat command now we have to see whether we have uh, the file just we created it is uh, got created or not uh, the content so cat file see hi i am file so in this way you are able to access your linux machine by using command prompt just do remember this command ssh ec2 user at the rate your ip address okay if you are passing this one let's suppose okay once again it will ask you for the access key so directly don't pass it just pass this one hyphen i then your key okay i hope you got the point how to access your linux machine using command prompt the same thing you can do with your powershell windows powershell okay clear so if let's suppose i'm going to copy this command okay and if i will paste it over here okay wait a minute i need to go to the downloads directly then do remember where your key file is located you will be in that directly otherwise it will give error see i am able to log in to my machine using powershell 2 okay so this is the way you can access your machine by using command prompt or powershell i hope you enjoyed the session too okay catch you in the next session as um, in the next session we will talk about some um, how to make directories and remove files and so on okay so thank you so much for watching and keep passing the channel's video to your friends who are learning clouds okay by your side so that it our channel can reach out more and more people thank you so much god bless you all